today I'm going to be showing you a billion long video about my reptiles and what we have here at the Matahari Animal Brokers. Matahari Animal Brokers is a name for Patty. She made it for her reptile business. Patty had cancer. It had spread throughout her body and she ended up passing away in December 2014. We got pretty much all of her animals. There was a couple that were given away to other family members, but we got her business. We kept the name. It's Patty's Pets or Macy's Pets. I really want to keep it as Patty's Pets, even though we're not Patty, but it's good to keep it as her name. Um, these guys though, this, this cute little Salcata, this is one of our babies. We had these before we got all of Patty's pets. They've grown in size. Here's one of them. And then there's the second one. She, this one actually is a lot bigger than the other one. Um, we got those about two years ago. Or it's about to be two years worth. Um, they were sold, sold with a gopher tortoise. That in the beginning of the time, we didn't know it was a gopher tortoise. Because whoever was selling it had cleaned all the dirt off of her shell. So she looked like a Russian tortoise, just her shell was more translucent, so it looked more green. We had no idea that she was a gopher. And when we found out that she was a gopher, we decided to go ahead and release her back into the wild. She's at a national park, and I hope she's having the most fun of her life. Alright, so we're going to get to Patty's Pets. These are the tortoises that we got from Patty. Now, here, tortoise and turtles. Here we have our Russian tortoises. They are one of the most smallest tortoises around. This is one of our females. She's a pretty little girl. Don't you dare run away. That's another one of our girls. And the baby here is our male. I'll put their thing right in the corner. This is our cat, Chong. He likes to come out here and watch the turtles and horses. He likes to help us in the snake room as well, which I'll get to in a moment. Here is our, I believe these are our desert tortoises, turtles. Desert turtles, tortoises, whatever. Um, we have three of them. There's one, two, and three. Um, who else do we have here? Um, in this one we have our ornate box turtles. Hopefully we'll be getting babies from these guys soon. Say hi! Say hi! There's two of them over there. Probably how small they are, they're a little calcium in their eggs, so they pyramided. Which is something that you don't want in your turtles or tortoises. It's a malfunction in the egg. They should more look like this guy right here. Um... We have a couple of the red foot tortoises. Uh, they, they love neck rubs and veggies and they, they like having Chong here. We just got these guys a couple months ago, maybe like in March or January. <laughs> Those are totally different time ranges. And they're the cute little babies. Uh, there's about eight of them in this paddock. <laughs> Hi guys! How are you? Um, they are one of my favorite tortoises. We have the the normal ones, and then we have our the red the cherry heads. There, I love the cherry heads. This is our male and female pairing Salcata tortoises. That one is Blackie, and this is Blondie. She laid us right now. About 16 eggs. She's laid a couple more, but before she wasn't really digging her nest and they had stepped all over their eggs. So hopefully you'll be getting babies soon from them. We did get about a dozen of their eggs, but in our incubator space, it had already gone past four months. It was about to go five months with eggs in there. And we looked at them and they were all hollow on the inside. I don't know how that could have happened or not. There's something around there. These guys, their favorite food is cactus. We don't give them cactus that much because it can actually mess with their system. 
Um, but every once in a while that we do give them cactus, they fight over it. We have to set them off in their different little corners to have them. Um, and the last tortoise that we have is the Herman, or Herman's tortoise or Herman's tortoise. I can't really pronounce it that well. This is our little Herman's. We had a female with him, but the female had actually passed away. So we weren't able to, to keep her alive. We didn't know that she was dead. We walked in there one day and she was just not moving. This is, so I'm gonna cut the video short actually because it's already going on five minutes. My phone's gonna overflow. It's gonna overheat and everything. So I've showed you our tortoises and this cat. Um, the only babies at the moment that we will probably be getting is from the Salcatas. I have watched the ornate box turtles lay eggs. I just have not seen any of them up burst from the ground and crawl around like crazy little monkeys. Um, the ones who have been breeding on and off, the red flips have been breeding on and off, and the Russians here and there every kind of once in a while. The box turtles, they mate like crazy. They're always over there mating. So hopefully we'll be getting babies from them as well. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for tortoises right now. There's a lot of them. They're so much fun. Everyone just loves coming over and looking at them. We let the big ones roam around. There's some times where we, we literally run around the place and we're looking for them because they camouflage so well in the, the grass that we have here and in the trees because they're always underneath the trees and you never seem to really look there. So you don't know that there's actually a giant tortoise there. Um, so yeah, that's all we have at the moment. So I am going to post another video for my snakes. And then for pets that we have inside. Cat is going to fall through. Say goodbye, chow. And say goodbye. Alright, I hope you all stay frosty. And I'll see you in a couple minutes.